today we're playing just another mask on horror which promises to be a satire about the oversaturated market that is the mascot horror game genre. And let's just click start. So, we have an extremely cold start. Just another weirdly huge underground facility. It's a little bit screen sharing, I'm not sure why. This does not play well with OBS. Now we're just gonna hit this. Hard reload. Whoa. It's an empty flag. Dang it. I just floated through. I didn't care about the balls at all. How many can I get in? It only cares about one. No. It's phased through or something. What? I, I don't think this this has no collision. Really? Yeah, I don't think it cares anymore. It's just that one. Not disappointing. So this is the obligatory play place with the cool S that everyone likes for some reason. Oh. Huh. I don't think many of these things have collision. We have this door which says E, but it's locked. It's not very obvious. It'd be better if there was an outline around this white outline. Because you can't really distinguish it, but maybe that's an issue on my part because I guess... I mean, there's a white fill in. I can't shut this off. It's just gonna echo there forever. Yay. Yay. What did that achieve? I do not know. Oh my god, it's open now. Four objectives complete. E. I feel like I've just entered a casino. Am I allowed to say that? I don't care. I'm gonna pretend it is. Um. Dang it. What? Did, did that work? Sure. Huh? I'm confused. I can't take it! There's nothing here! I've been searching for years and I have nothing! Maybe they were right when they told me it was just futile to go digging into blank! But I couldn't resist that juicy, juicy! Anyway, the creatures roam as one. If any ex-employees ever come back for blank, I should be safe. Sign, they'll be able to see you. Um, why do I take it someone didn't like- I, I, I feel like- I, I get this feeling, someone the- uh, Someone, uh... Oh no, it was 69-69. He just put that in as a joke. Oh boy. Key, mine. What's even happening? Am I supposed to throw it from over here? Wait, seriously? Well, that was disappointing. Dang it! Why, why does it feel like I'm playing some sort of, you know... 
Did I get... I feel like I'm playing a sports game. Well, I just failed. Are, are you gonna jump scare me? Can we start? Yes, it is. The scores don't even reset. That's silly. You know, I would never be able to do this in real life. I have really bad eye to uh, hand-to-eye coordination. I kept getting hit in the head a lot as a kid with spherical objects. It's kind of annoying. But it's also partially my fault because I never really understood how to dodge. I kind of just stood there and took it. They were like, oh my god, are you okay? But at the same time, I had really bad luck. Sometimes, just out of nowhere, it would just come flying in my direction. And so I would get hit because they didn't really know how to respond. Oh my god! Oh, I'm a little upset now. I typed that in as a joke. I typed that in completely as a joke. Well, you got it on camera, you saw that. Is, is he gonna close? Is he gonna fall? I don't like this camera shake. Blah. You beat the demo! What? There was... There's no horror. The horror was the fact that I could have beat it faster because I just typed it. Oh boy. Mom? Um, I can say that I set out to do one thing and achieve something else. It... There was no mascot. And then, in conclusion, there was no mascot. But, you know, maybe there will be a mascot eventually. Maybe this is just... Maybe in some way, there's that's symbolic for something. I don't know what it is, but it, I'm sure it's symbolic for something. So I've actually gone back and opened up the game again and again quite a bit because I've actually noticed something interesting which is that the main room's text actually does change quite a bit. So I'll be reading out most if not all of the possible variations or at least, you know, all that I could find because I'm sure, judging by how many that I've found, that there's probably more that I've just not been lucky enough to find. Anyways, this one says just another mildly spooky setting, which is basically most mascot horror games. This one says Shiggy and Co, which is coalesce. This one says just another liminal space, which is once again most mascot horror games. This one says just another kindergarten, clearly a reference to Bam Bam. This one says just another cartoon studio. A great reference to Bendy. I've actually, I actually, um, I, it's a little embarrassing to admit, but I actually kind of wanted to play it at some point in my life. Back when it was pretty much generally accepted that it kind of sucked. And then I realized that, um, I was probably not going to be able to play it due to performance issues. But, you know, I think it has a better reputation now since uh, the second game was actually pretty good from what I've seen. Just another cabin in the woods. Clearly just a reference to Cabin in the Woods. I should really watch that. Just another forest. I don't really know what this is a reference to, but there are a lot of horror games with forests. Actually, wait, no, I'm stupid. This is just slender. Just another schoolhouse. Probably a reference to one of the more recent ones. I don't remember what it was called. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure this is Baldy. Although, neither... Baldy or Slender really comes to mind when I think about mascot horror, but I guess they do qualify. 
Just another backrooms reference. Most backroom games. All five of them. Or maybe we're up to ten. Just another city of raccoons. I can't tell if this is a reference to Raccoon City or if it's a reference to Indigo Park. Just another toy factory. Clearly Poppy Playtime. Just another haunted pizzeria. It's it's just FNAF. It's it's just FNAF, man. Just another underwater Art Deco city. I have no idea what this is a reference to. It might be just, you know, the pool rooms. Just another long ass hallway. So it's either PT, but I'm pretty sure that's not a mascot horror game. Or it's it's a reference to Bam Bam again. You know, I'm kind of surprised there's no just another haunted theme park or child eating animatronic park. But you know, maybe that was one of the ones I missed. But that's pretty much it that I've seen from this game. That's I I assume I've I pretty much almost hundred percent this. I, I there's no way to know for sure. Despite my unenthusiastic tone, which is you know pretty much 90% of the time this is just how I sound. I did actually like this quite a bit, despite the fact that it, you know, didn't have a mascot, which I think is probably the point. If they update it, I'll probably check it out if I find out about it. But yeah, on to the next game. This is press the button. I don't really have any other choice but to follow directions as much as I hate it, but I guess we will press the button. Press. Hello player, we're going to play here. Oh, what is it? And I realized this is a button. Well, press the button. Huh, you just... that's all you have to say. Well done. Oh, it seems pressing gives you points. Then let's press the button. Alright, time to use my... my ultimate power. Super, you Dang. are just a handsome guy. Let's make it more <laughs> interesting. Ah, uh, sure, buddy. Press the button. Oh, it seems it will. You made a mistake again. But don't worry, next time you will definitely succeed. I can't, I can't click on other buttons. Oh, I'm sorry. But no, here's the button that needs to be pressed. No, I want to click every single other button. You cannot stop, dang it. Well done. You did a great job. It probably wasn't difficult, but you still need to take a break. Press the button. Okay. Am I am I going to be able to use my ultimate power? Trained from hours and hours. I'm just kidding, I haven't played that many click games. You probably got bored. Let's try something interesting again. Alright. Hit me with it. Be dead. He wants you to press the button. Does he though? I'm gonna press on him. I can't drag him, I can't press him. I'm I'm disappointed, frankly. Clever girl, now is dead. Let's get some rest. Yay! Press the button. You know you were good at it. Not many people can decide to do this, let alone be so effective. I think the couple should change the test. Press the button. What if I don't? You can't do anything? Let's see how long this scrolls for, huh? You gonna run out of space? Oh no, it just bounces back. Oh, I see. Well done. You are the most effective soldier what we had. No one else could press the button with such zeal and passion. Press the button. Click it to click. Yay! You know, there are still civilians there, but we still press the button. Okay, let's change the task again. Press the button. This is a metaphor for war. So here it is, and it's our turn. I didn't click on anything. Thanks for completing the demo. If you want to oh. continue the story, let me know in the comments on it. Not I O or on YouTube. You're on the way. Man, that that text to speech kind of kind of struggled there. It's interesting. It hits you in the face a little too hard. I wish there was more button pressing, which is probably 
an unusual thing to say, but I actually do wish there was more button pressing. I, I just, I don't know, I just feel like smacking, I feel, I feel like smacking a button today. Next game. Yikes. So playing first or second, which is kind of like a another Mandela catalog inspired kind of game. Where you get to pick between two people and decide which one is less evil. But in this case, it's just people, so perhaps more terrifying than mimics. Who's dangerous? Specialty black eyes. Specialty burn. Description of the murder. In 2007, the Petty family. Jennifer Hawke Petty and her two teenage daughters were attacked and murdered in their Connecticut home. The father of the family, Dr. William Petty, was injured but managed to escape before the perpetrators burned the house to the ground. Is that all? I assume so. Specialty fear of blood? Oh, hey, you're smirking, aren't you? Uh, her head is concerning, especially to increase cruelty. Police officers found the body of 16-year-old Lycans lying on a dirty mattress. She was covered with more than 150 burns and cuts. At first, it was assumed that the young girl had starved to death as she was extremely malnourished. It was later determined that the cause of death was a brain hemorrhage and malnutrition. This sounds very cruel, but at the same time, this one says fear of blood. No blood was involved, except- wait, hold on. I guess we only get to hear it once. Okay, whatever. Well, it could be either one. This guy's less smirking. I suspect a more, but you know, we'll just we need to see the game over screen one at least once. Or I guess not. Police officers who arrived at the crime scene found a soundproofed lorry trailer equipped for the torture of victims, which contained various surgical instruments and a gynecological table with restraints. He also made recordings of the torture of his victims. He showed no remorse for his crimes, explaining, It was entertainment for me to make these recordings. What I don't like is that there's no indication of when it's, you know, done playing. As well as the fact that it just kind of sounds like, you know, the stereotypical AI text-to-speech that a lot of people use nowadays, but I don't really care, actually. No, engineer operator. What does operator mean? I don't get it. Like, it's like surgical operator? Because the equipment is kind of specific, but also specialty psycho doesn't really give us much to work with, given that uh, I feel like he would already be in jail. But let's, let's be completely honest. I, I feel like he would already be in jail if he was a psycho. And, you know, he's a known psycho. So let's just go with the obvious choice here. It's gonna it's gonna give up I bet it's gonna give us the game over because it's so obvious. Yep. You are special, buddy. I grabbed her and she claimed she was going to tell her mom. Do you need help if you write something like this? Just Consider that. But okay, I think it's pretty obvious. They didn't take any pictures, so... I was separated from my brother and mother and taken to the hospital, where I was measured and x-rayed. Blood was taken from my neck. Once they tied me to a table and started cutting me with a knife. I was given injections that made me vomit and have diarrhea. When one of the prisoners fell ill after an injection, the guards would come in and take them away to kill them. Work is over for today. After tomorrow, a new assignment will exit menu. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. 
We promised seven minutes of gameplay. I don't think that was seven minutes, but that's okay. I think in today's environment, maybe don't do the... Don't do a kitty murder. But, you know, I think children are a pretty sensitive topic. You can kill anyone else, just, just don't kill children. Come on, please. But uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.